days. So, I know it's been a while since I made a video. And, um, I asked for questions on my Instagram for a question and answer video in here. And, um, I got a pretty many. So, I'm going to do that. So, the first question is, how many Briar Traditionals do you have? Um, so let's see. Here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 10, 11, 12, 12? Oh, well, uh, Traditionals. I wasn't counting customs. Um, I probably should, but what, who is your favorite model? Oh my god. Oh, I have so many, but my ultimate favorite would be this girl. I, yeah, I, yeah, that has to be. Oh, okay, what is your biggest pet peeve? And I'm guessing for model horses. Um, I have a lot. But I guess my biggest pet peeve would be, um, basically when, like, people that don't know anything about the hobby come and insult, like, on Instagram and stuff, insult other people's, like, work, like, customs, tack, whatever, and are saying, like, oh, why wouldn't you spend that money on lessons or something, and that it bugs me, because, like, I have a horse, and I, I take lessons and all that stuff, but some people don't, and some people collect only, you know, because they don't, they can't afford a horse, so that's a really big pet peeve for me. Uh, what don't you understand in the hobby? I don't understand why people show up Briar Fest. <laughs> and no offense to people that show up Briar Fest, but I really, really don't understand why people show up Briar Fest. It's you. You miss a lot of Briar Fest when you show, um, because you're there all day on um, Saturday or sad, sad, Saturday or Sunday. I can't remember which day it is, but you miss a lot. Um, the show is just huge. Um, and it's, I just think it's a waste of time because most people are like, oh, I showed a Briar Fest and I didn't get any ribbons. And it's so hard to show there. And I just don't understand why people go thinking they're going to win a bunch of stuff. And also, I don't understand it because for me at least, I have a lot of horses that are not Briar and are not you know, and um, are customized with other pieces, like from Peter Stone and stuff, and you can't show anything like that. So, and another thing I don't understand is um, the, uh, I don't know if this is still a thing, but like people would make up breed, like breed their models. Like, I don't know if this is still a thing, I think it was the thing in like the 80s and 90s, but I think they still do it, where people would like have a, like, they would have this horse here, which is not a stallion, but they would have that and it would be a stud, and then somebody else would ship their mare to the person that has the model horse that says it's a stud, and like, they would make, they would buy a, I, I have no idea, they would buy a foal that looked like the two horses put together and like, make up a breed, like a, oh, um, you know, um, I like a lineage paper and all this stuff, and I just didn't never understood that. Um, okay, I have a question written down, so let me see. Who is your briar bestie? Um, I'm guessing you mean an actual person and not a briar. <laughs> um, I guess that would be Sun Hutch Briars on YouTube. I think, actually, she might be the Pangare Pony now, and, uh, she's, yeah. Um... And, uh, also, I don't know, like, I used to be friends with a lot of people on Facebook, and I'm not on Facebook anymore, but I still see them at shows, but I'm not sure they remember who I am, because I haven't been on Facebook in forever. So, um, yeah, she would have to be my one Briar Bestie. Who was your first horse in your collection? Um, I don't have, like, a first horse, because I got a bunch of old classics from my mom when I was little, so it was probably... The Proud Arabian, or not the Proud Arabian, the Arabian family set. They were all like the classics from like the 70s. Black Beauty and um, the Keen mold. And uh, let's see. Why don't you give all your ponies to me? No. You know who you are. No. I will not. Sorry. On a scale of 1 to 10, how cool are you? I break the scale. I'm 100% cool. How long have you been collecting? Uh, 
Let me see, I'm this three and I'm seventeen, so hold on, I gotta do the math here. Probably fourteen years, probably. I mean, if you count when I first got my first bar horse, which was when I was three, and I'm going to be 17 in like a couple of months. So, yeah, I've been collecting for about thir 14, 13 years ish. Seriously collecting, I started when I was about, it was in 2005, so seriously collecting, I've been for about 2005. Um, how long does it take to customize a briar? Or a Peter Stone? Or whatever, a resin? Uh, it depends. On the color. And for me, I procrastinate. I lose interest. So it takes me longer to do things. Um, for like a simple bay with not like a whole lot of markings, um, it takes me about, if I'm working efficiently, it could take me about two weeks. If I'm working slow, it could take me three months. And, um, just like a regular, like a seal bay, sunburnt black, where it's just like black with a redder shading. I've been doing a simple one of those. They only take me about a week. But, um, yeah, and paints take me around four or five months to complete just because I lose interest or I come back and work on them. And, uh, so yeah, that's how long it takes to customize for me. I know people that do it in a day, so I don't know. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for the questions, and um, I'm going to post another video about what's happening in my studio, so look for that one. Bye, guys!